With iPadOS 18, you might be experiencing a lot of bugs and glitches and your battery might be running pretty low. So in this video, I'll be showing you all how you can downgrade from iPadOS 18 back to iPadOS 17. So this should be a very easy process and you just want to start by connecting your iPad to your computer. And you can do this using its charging cable. And once you've done that, you'll get this pop-up on your iPad asking whether or not you want to trust the computer. So what you want to do is just press on trust and then type in your iPad's passcode. And once you've done that, just go ahead and log on to your computer. So basically you just want to open a web browser and then type in IPSW.me and select iPad and just select whichever iPad model that you have. So I have the iPad 10, so I'm going to be selecting that. And the next step is just going to be to downgrade to whichever signed IPSW that you want to downgrade to. And the unsigned IPSWs don't work. You can only select the ones that are signed. And then just press on download. And then press on save. And while we're waiting for the file to download, we're going to go into the settings app on the iPad. And we're just going to press on the profile at the top. Then press on find my and press on find my iPad and just go ahead and disable that and then type in the Apple ID password and once you've done that your iPad will allow you to restore to an older version. Now once your file has been downloaded this next step is going to be different depending on whether you're on a Mac or if you're on a Windows computer and basically if you're on a Mac what you want to do is just head over to the Finder app and then just press on your, your device on the side of the window and press on trust. And once you've pressed trust on your iPad, what you want to do is just hold down on the option key and press on restore iPad. And this is what happens when you don't have Find My iPad disabled. So I'll just need to go back and fix this. And for this next step, just press on whichever file that you just downloaded and press on open. And then you'll have the option to restore your device and now it'll be downgrading. Now one thing to note is that unless if you have a backup of the device in the earlier iOS version that you're downgrading to, your iPad will be fully erased and you can actually save your photos by saving them through iCloud in the settings app, but that's really all you can do. So I'm not going to be downgrading my iPad because I don't want to erase all the information on there, but if you're on Windows, the steps will be a bit different. Basically you just want to download the iTunes app off the Microsoft Store and then just go through the setup screen and press on the button on the top left corner and then just hold down on the shift key and press on restore iPad and then select whichever file that you just downloaded and once you've done that just press on open and your iPad will be downgrading. Now once your iPad has been fully downgraded just go through the setup screen and then when, when you go into settings and into general and software update you'll see that it's been downgraded back to iPadOS 17. Now that's pretty much all there is for this video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below any questions that you have.